Dear friends, in this video, we are going to understand combustion phenomenon in SI engines. Up till this video, we already discussed about the different things related with the SI engines. That is nothing but the different requirements of the fuel for the SI engine. Then we discuss about the, the things like the carburetor. Then we discuss the derivation part, numericals. Then we also discuss the different compensating or the auxiliary circuits in the SI engine carburetor. So in the last few videos, we already discussed about the ignition systems along with the modern type of ignition system itself. Now, after this one, we are going to discuss the next thing in the SI engine and that is nothing but another very important that is combustion phenomena in SI engine. To understand this particular concept thoroughly, we will move to see the notes part itself. So with the help of the notes, we can understand this particular things properly. So what do you mean by the combustion? So this question is again very important dear friend. So combustion means what? We know in the case of IC engine, suction, compression, expansion, exhaust, these are the four processes. So during suction, the amount of air fuel mixture will come inside the engine cylinder and at the end of compression stroke, that amount of air fuel mixture will get compressed. And at the end of compression stroke, the power plug provides the spark and then whatever process will start to take place inside the engine cylinder, that process is nothing but called as a combustion process. So technically speaking, combustion is nothing but the burning of air and fuel mixture combined together or we can say the fuel can burn or the fuel will burn in presence of oxygen. Oxygen is present in the form of air which present inside the engine cylinder. That burning is nothing but called as a combustion process we can say. So with the help of this four diagram again we can understand how combustion process taken place inside the engine cylinder. So again we have a simple diagram, here is a piston, here is a cylinder and this is the kind of a spark plug. So 1, 2, 3, 4, this indicates the 4 position uh, when the combustion process being done inside the engine cylinder. So initially the suction taken place inside the engine cylinder and this is the process of compression, the movement of piston from BDC to TDC. So please see this particular direction of piston. And at the end of the compression stroke, the spark plug provides the spark inside the engine cylinder. So, as the spark provides the spark, it creates a thin flame, we can say. Spark plug provides the spark means what? There should be a, some ignition taken place inside the engine cylinder. And that is in the form of a thin flame of the spark. And this particular flame will move forward direction inside the space of the combustion chamber. And as air fuel mixture will comes in the contact with this particular flame, as the flame moving in the forward direction, if you observe in the diagram, in the second diagram, flame front move, in the first diagram, spark plug provides the spark. So there will be an initiating of this particular flame and the flame is moving in the forward direction inside this particular combustion chamber. Again, in this particular diagram, the flame will again move in the forward direction and whatever combustible mixture which is present inside the, the combustion chamber of the engine, it will contact it with this and again as the flame completely move in the forward direction, the complete combustion taken place inside the engine cylinder. See, this flame is nothing but the kind of a heat which is produced from the spark level. So, if you can take the example of the candle, okay, I think uh, all of you are knowing about uh, the candle, when that particular candle 
will be sparking that time there should be a blue color flame will be there okay when the candle will be lighting and that time there should be always blue color flame of that particular burning candle so similarly in this case also as the spark plug initially provides the spark a blue color thin flame leaves behind and it will move in the forward forward direction inside the combustion chamber and as the air fuel mixture water present inside the chamber as it gets in the contact with that particular hot flame then the combustion process will be taken place completely inside the engine cylinder so we can say with the help of this particular diagram the normal combustion taken place as the thin flame of the spark plug moves behind in the combustion chamber step by step and as that particular mixture will come in contact with that flame the complete burning or the combustion taken place inside the engine cylinder so this is nothing but called as a combustion process or the normal combustion so similarly with the help of this particular diagram we can understand the process of combustion so again here we have one diagram which indicate the crank angles on the x axis and here is this particular pressure line okay see this y axis indicate the pressure line and this x axis indicates the crank angle rotation in degrees so let us consider the left hand side of this particular diagram this is the bdc point of the piston bottom dead center the center point let us consider the top dead center position of the piston and again the right side is the bdc center position of the piston so initially let us consider the suction start the piston move from cdc to bdc now we start with the bdc now from the bdc piston is moving from bottom dead center to top dead center like this one and compression process taken place inside the engine cylinder so let us consider process a to b is nothing but the compression process and during the compression process the crank angle moving in degrees from 0 degree to 180 degree so this process is nothing but called as the compression process so at the point b there will be a end of compression process and spark plug provide the spark and as the spark plug provide the spark as we just discussed in this diagram as the flame move in the forward direction there will be a ultimately rise in the pressure of that particular air fuel mixture because the combustion process start to take place the burning will start to take place and during this process b to c this is called combustion process there will be a tremendous rise in the pressure so it described with the help of process b to c and this is the combustion process so again after point c again this is nothing but called as the combustion process or we can say the expansion process will start to take place power stroke or the expansion process will start to take place c to d is nothing but called as the expansion process during this process pressure will get down if you see the pressure is going to reduce it and piston is again moving from top dead center to bottom dead center so with the help of this uh, pressure versus crank angle diagram we can understand the process of combustion and always during the combustion inside the engine cylinder there is a tremendous rise in the pressure of the mixture so this is something about the combustion phenomena in gas engines so hope uh, you understood in well manner particular point so thanks a lot for watching this video thank you so much